actually really cool uh, it's it can be a bit challenging so if you want to become an animator or you want to use this kind of software uh, you should be dedicated and have a lot of free time to make animations and stuff the way you want them to be so um, this software is called pencil 2d animation it is free to download free to use super super easy it just got a few little tricks here and there that I will show to you in a little bit. Um, in the description below, I will have a, f a link to the site where you can download it. It's pretty easy. Um, first off, I want to say my mouse isn't showing, so if you're kind of lost, uh, just try and I'll try and describe it best as I can. So first, I'm going to tell you about the tools, and then I'll tell you how to make your own animation. So over here, you have only you don't have that many. Uh, options but you can save you can import projects that you've already done you can import music and images and you can change the opacity of your screen so if you want to uh, do anything in the background you can uh, importing pictures is actually hard so if you want to trace a picture or maybe draw something original and you don't want it to be all there you would change the opacity and do it in the back so this is where you can add layers, but you don't really need to worry about this because there's an easier way to do it. Help in Windows. Um, these are your tools right here. Um, pencil tool, which is pretty much, uh, here I'm gonna go open this. You draw with the pencil. Oh, and first I wanna say I have a tablet, so if it looks like I'm drawing things really easily, it's because I have a tablet, so. Um, with the pencil, you can change the color, the size, uh, how thick you want it, you know. Any colors changes are over here. So see where my thing is? Here are all the colors that you can choose. You can make your own colors. You can grab your own colors from things you've already done before. So that's how you do the colors. Every single one of these tools, you can change the color of. Paintbrush tool, pen tool, geometric shape tool. Uh, you know, kind of thing. Eraser. I haven't really expo explored with this one, but this is fill in paint. This is select. This is move. This is pan. And this is something else. But those are the basic um, uh, singy majingies that you can do. Options. The, this area right here is pretty much the settings for the tools. So don't worry too much about this. 
Display you don't have to worry too much about. Let's talk about the layers. So whatever what's down here, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's on the bottom of the screen. Where it says layers, I have so I have three layers showing right now. Um, if you click this button right here, you get to add layers. And if you're selected onto a layer and you click this button, it will erase a layer. So that's very important. So the different layers, sound layer, you can add music. Vector layer is pretty much like a fancy bitmap layer, which is just a clean layer. And a camera layer is what the view is. So if I was to make this into a YouTube video, whatever is showing in this box will be uh, in the video. The stuff out here coming out of the corners will not be showing. So to add keys, right down here, see these, these little uh, rectangles? Uh, those are your keys. To add a key, you just press the plus button and it should add a new key. And see how it's at being added down in the camera layer? That's because I have it open. If you highlight it and press uh, minimize, it will get rid of layers. So that is a super easy way to do it. Um, my animation right here, this is my outro. The winner has been decided and I'm trying to finish the outro and I currently have this much, much done already. So we'll just have to see. Over here, if you go all the way over to the right, you'll see the play button, the repeat button, and the option to listen to your music. Fraps, uh, frames, <laughs> fraps. frames per second is here. You can change that to however fast you want. Uh, slower is actually easy to do at first, but as you get going, if you want to make it look more fluent, you would add more frames per second. So, if I was to press the... Um, repeat button and press the play button then you shall see wait a second why does it have that random head there random head please go away all right <laughs> so this is my uh glitchy switch animation I'm really sorry i don't know why it's doing this sometimes uh it can be a real joke but yes those are the frames and um i want to explain to you what exactly i'm doing so i'm now going to show you how to animate basically animating is drawing the same picture but in a different position each time so when you play it faster it looks like it's been given movement uh i forgot to mention the onion skins here uh, as you can see, onion skin is pretty much, you can see what progress you did before. So I can see what I did before. If you know you want a little bit of a helper there. Right now, I have three layers. I always start with the camera layer because that makes me see, okay, this is what's going to be showing and I don't have to worry about too much out here. Um, this layer is pretty much my rough draft. As you can see, uh, the pencil, the movement in the background is really crappy. Like, it's no effort at all back there. It's just a doodle. So, that is my uh, rough draft, you could say. And right now, I'm going through the process, which is this layer right here. I'm going over it with pens so it looks neater. And eventually, I'm going to add an entirely different layer, which will be for color. So, when I have it all down, blah, blah, blah. It'll be fancy, fancy, schmickery doodly. Alright, so let's say you finished your animation, okay? And you want to save it as a movie file. Well, I have to break the news to you, it will not save it as a movie file. These will save as individual pictures that you will have to copy and paste into a movie making system and then you'll have to change the frames per second there. So I will show you how to do that. But first, I want to um, open up a new project that doesn't have so many slides, because I think I have like 808 slides right now. So that's a lot. So right here I have my smooch uh, animation that I am working on. So we're gonna save these, how many slides? 28 
tw to 27 pictures. So these are going to be 27 individual pictures. Everything that is showing in the camera layer will be showing on your video. So, what you want to do is you want to go to File. Actually, don't go to... Oh, no. No, Edit. No, wait. Okay, I'm sorry. You go to File, and you want to go to Export. These do the same exact thing, it's just they save it differently for some reason. But I think image sequence is a lot easier, so we're going to click that. I recommend opening up a new folder because it will just make everything so much neater. I had it titled La -de, de Dirt because of the last animation I did was that and I haven't changed yet. So what you're going to do is you're going to click save. It's going to save all of those pictures, and this is where you can change the format to JPEG or PNG, but that's entirely up to you. PNG, I think, is actually easier to work with. So there, you have that. You'll open up your editing system, and for me, it's Windows Movie Maker, which is not that good. And then you'll import pictures. Go to where, where did I save that? Where did I save it? Crap. Anyways. What was it? It was titled Not Any Dark, right? Where did it go? Hold on a second. Okay, well, I, uh, I couldn't find them. So... Basically, what you would do is you would take them and put them here and then adjust them however you wanted to do it, you know, stuff like that. So that is how you animate with uh, Pencil 2D Animation. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I love you guys. Bye!